Illinois Everyday Eats brought to you by the Fresh Market. Seven Eleven as rising gets ready here on WCCB. We are live this morning on the Blue Max Terrace for Everyday Eats with Troy, and we're going to be doing later the lamb chop, which looks awesome. But before we get into all that, you're doing something that Caitlin Cody was ecstatic about, which yeah. is the avocado toast. Avocado, and we're going to grill the avocado, so something a little different. When it adds a little smoky okay. flavor to it, we're going to top with some grilled corn. You know, we're going to mix in some goat cheese and some lime. So the easiest way to get into an avocado. Now I've got mine. I got mine at the fresh market, and I usually get them when they're just a little firm. Okay, you and know? that's how you know it's good. Yeah, and I mean, if you're going to grill it, it doesn't necessarily have to be firm, um, but because they'll, you know, if you're not going to use them right away, they'll, they'll, they'll soften up. Okay. But we want them just a little softened because we're going to make this into a mix. So we're coming in from the side. Yeah, and I just put, you know, the heel of the knife in just to kind of be safe. And I, you see, I'm not really moving the mm -hmm. knife; I'm moving the avocado just to be a little more safe. So once you get it all the way around, then you can just twist it. Boom! Boom! And get that little piece out of there, and then to get the, the core out and the seed, then you just do that. Just kind of pop it off with your thumb, and there you go. That was easy. Simple enough. Now, if you want to make this into like a guacamole or something, you could take it um, and hold it and just kind of score it. We're not going to do that just, just yet. Take it out, okay? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grill it first. We're gonna just just a little bit of olive oil. It's got enough oil in it. It's not gonna stick to the grill or anything. Okay. But we're just giving it just a little bit of lubrication and then just salt and pepper. Real simple. Like that salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna have you open the grill. All right. Now we've got some some toast here. Uh oh, we're on fire. Woo! Probably should have looked at that. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, we'll get those out, and then we'll have some nice smoke going there. Now, for the, the bread, I'm not going to oil it or anything. Okay. We're just going to put it on there just nice and dry. Is this like a medium heat you're doing over here in this medium, section? Yeah, medium heat, and believe it or not, the right side's completely off because we're going to need that side to grill roast our lamb. Okay. So these are going to take. These are going to go real fast, maybe 45 seconds you know, to a minute on each side, probably not even a minute. And then we're just going to put the avocado on there. Now we want to go. We want to get these soft, which, like I said, they're already ripe, so they're kind of soft anyway. We just want to incorporate some of that smoke and the bread. You can see, look how already, fresh that's yeah. going. Already, yeah. That, that was that was what 30 seconds or so. Yeah, maybe? at least. And really, we just want to get just a little toast. I don't know. I got tongs. I don't know why I'm just sitting here. <laughs> yeah, my why hands. are you trying to burn yourself, dude? So real quick, and I know we got to roll, but the corn, just the easy way, just so it doesn't go all over the counter. Just get two bowls, get a smaller one, put it inside. Get your corn, stack it up on top, and then just run your knife. And just get the kernels off. You don't want a whole lot of the, the mm -hmm. corn there because it's it's kind of hard, you know, if you're going to eat it raw. And then we come back, we'll put it together with some goat cheese. Well, we're going to get to our rack. Of, uh, we're going to roast, grill roast a rack of lamb. We're going to get to that here in a little bit. But we're going to do an avocado toast right now. We've already grilled the avocado while you were out here, Derek. Now they're nice and soft. You can see the grill marks. We got a little smoke incorporated in there. We're just going to start taking these out of the shell. When we come back, we're going to mix it with some goat cheese cheese, a little bit of corn, some cilantro or lime juice. But you got to stay tuned. On rise. Now back outside live on the Blue Max Terrace and it's already yeah. hot out <laughs> here for Troy's Everyday Eats uh, and it's mainly because of all of that uh, That's behind us. In That's the not oven. creating the humidity though. <laughs> yeah. So this morning I'm working on a really cool toasted uh, avocado here. The avocado toast, and we're going to mix in some goat cheese and cool stuff. We're going to get in 8 o'clock, we're going to do a rack of lamb right on the grill with a little rub. So this is going to kind of pair with that. Okay. All right, so we've grilled our avocado when you were out here the last time. We're going to take a little bit of, and this is definitely softened because it's hot out here. Mm -hmm. So we've got some, some goat cheese. I'm just going to start kind of folding that in. If I don't have goat cheeses or something else I could use? You know, you could use cream cheese or even just a touch of cream. Just okay. something just to kind of bring some of that cre uh, creaminess to it. Got it. I really like goat cheese because it has that tang. You know, I think goat cheese sometimes gets a bad rap uh, from people who have never tried it. You know, say, oh, I don't eat goat cheese because it comes from the goat. But I'm telling you, if you try it, you're really going to dig it. So we're going to get that mixed in. Now we're going to take a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper, and then we're going to get some lime. Just going to roll that. And you put a little bit of salt and pepper on it before we threw it on the grill to start too, right? Right. Yep. And then just a little bit of now that was mainly for the goat cheese to kind of season that up. A little okay. bit of lime juice, whatever you're feeling. The recipe calls for one avocado, about four ounces of goat cheese, and then a tablespoon of lime. So we'll get this mixed up. Now it's so hot out here, this is actually kind of soupy. So if you want to put this in the refrigerator, that lime's going to help it uh, from turning brown. It still probably will eventually. But okay. So we're going to take our grilled toast, and we're just going to mix that in that well. You can see some of the streaks of the goat cheese. but. So we'll just we'll do a couple of these. Now we just took I I like you know sometimes I when I grill the bread I put oil on it sometimes I don't this time I didn't just because I felt like you know there's a whole lot of oil in the avocado itself okay. 
you know, so I didn't want it to be, you know, too rich or anything. So we'll do that, and then we'll just take some of this the summer corn, corn I got at the fresh market, put that on there, just a little bit. You know, we want to taste the avocado. And then maybe some onions, some real thin sliced red onion. And then how about some cilantro around the top. Just like that. Now, I bet Caitlin Cody would tear that up. Oh, absolutely. And She'll I, be out here in the next break. <laughs> well, these are for her then, I guess. And one's for you and one's for her. Okay. So Sounds good. Coming up, we're going to grill roast that rack lamp. you got to definitely stay tuned for that. It's one of my favorite yeah, things right there. on the grill. It's And it's super simple to do. All right. We will have that for you coming up in just a few. Right so now. on the grill, I came in early. I smoked some tomatoes. Those went for a couple hours. You can see they're nice and tender. But we're going to make a salsa roja out of these, these green onions, the jalapenos, and the salsa roja is actually going to go with our lamb. So the lamb I've got laid out, it's been gone, or it's been sitting out at room temperature for about an hour. We're going to make a little rub with this. We're going to mix it with some oil and crust it, and then we're going to grill roast it. But you got to stay right there. I'm rising. See how it turns out. I can Troy's Everyday Eats outside on the Blue Max Terrace this morning. We're starting to get hot out here as we work on the lamb chop. Yeah, and I have to apologize for the heat, man. I've got this, this fire rolling. i got my Carolina Cookwood in there going, and, you know, we could finish our rack of lamb in there if we wanted to. Okay. But we're going to do it right on the right on the grill. So I'm going to make a little rub with this real quick. we got some salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, some brown sugar, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Well, it was powder. And, of course, uh, exactly what amounts you need, WCCBCharlotte.com. Yeah, well, my, something happened to all that. But and then some smoked paprika. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing this up, and I'm going to add a little bit of oil to this. Now, what's going to go with our lamb is our smoked tomato roja. So I smoked some tomatoes. I'm going to mm -hmm. have you put those in a blender. Okay. Let's start getting these guys in. And then we also grill some scallions or some onions, some green onions, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we've got a little bit of garlic, some jalapeno. I've got all that in the bowl here. And we're also going to add some cilantro, a little bit of vinegar. Now, I'm adding just a touch of oil to this. We're going to make a okay. paste for this. All this is going in, too, right? All that's going in, a couple of jalapenos, some scallions, and then uh, all that cilantro. Okay. Or actually, leave me just a few pieces in oh, case I, if we want uh, to rush. Well, well, no, the, the cilantro. Yeah, just leave a few pieces of that. I thought that was mixed in there, too. Okay. All right, so we're adding some oil to this rub here, and we're going to make it a little paste. All right, I got a teeny bit left there for you. Perfect. You're such a good helper. And then this is going to go on here, right? Yep. And then what you want to do is just kind of pulse it. I believe the power's on, so we can just pulse it just until it comes together. No, I don't know that the power's working. Power pulse. Maybe not. Okay. Well, okay. we'll get to that shortly. We'll do that in a minute. <laughs> All right. So I've got the paste. We're going to put this right on the, the rack of lamp. If you want to get more of this paste in there, you can take and score this like that. Uh -oh. Okay. Go backwards. I mean, obviously, you can do it when you before you put it on there. Mm -hmm. But that'll just kind of let it get into in the there. meat. Okay. So we're going to spread this around. Now I've got the grill set up for direct and direct, indirect heating, so, or grilling. So I'm going to put this on there. We're going to render some of that fat off. I didn't trim any of that fat off. It came from the fresh market just, just like, like that. that. So we're going to render some of that fat, get it nice and charred on both sides, and then we're going to just let it grill roast on the indirect heat side. When we come back from break, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. All right. Okay. So we've got the lamb on here, the rack of lamb. Now we put that paste on it. Now obviously with the fat and the oil, it's going to flare up little bit so you just want to kind of move it around so you get it nice and charred then once we get it charred all the way around we're going to put it up here on the top we got a carolina cookwood going to smoke it on up we're going to close that up and let it go about 15 20 minutes or just till a medium rare now we're going to serve this with our smoked tomato salsa roja that we just finished up come back here and we'll show you how we're going to plate it up right here on rising back live on the Blue Max Terrace for Troy's Everyday Eats on the grill this morning, doing some cool stuff here. Uh, let's talk about the, the lamb chop, because we're right. going to finish that up here in a sec, right? Yeah, we've got it on the grill, and basically what we did is we made a, a paste with some seasoning. We took some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and just mixed it up and then added oil, just enough oil. The recipe says three tablespoons, but just enough oil till it kind of makes this paste. So that it'll kind of go in. Yeah, it'll go in and we, you know, we took the lamb and kind of scored a little bit and kind of massaged it in there so it would, um, you know, kind of penetrate that fat. Now there's, I didn't trim it at all. I went mm -hmm. to the fresh market, you know, picked out the, the rack that I wanted and I didn't trim it. It's got a lot of fat. So when you put it on the grill, it's going to flare up. Okay. But, you know, part of that whole deal is we, we definitely do want to get a really nice char on it. And I think we've done that, but you can see, oops, you can see all that fat kind of burbling on there. Mm -hmm. Now we've charred it on both sides. 
That paste has kind of become part of the lamb. We've got our Carolina cookwood over there smoking. Now, really, this should rest, so we'll... For well, about normally 10 minutes. It, Obviously, we won't have that kind of time. You know, but. no. We don't have that kind of time? No. Okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you, by the way, where's your coat? It didn't catch on fire because the pizza I, oven... It's just it. getting so hot out here, I was like, I had to lose it. It really is hot. So while that's resting, we'll talk about the first dish that we made, okay. and that was the avocado toast. And which, this is perfect to pair with that. Super simple, too. You know, I just went to the fresh market, got some bread. We got some avocados that were a little firm, but they don't have to be. They can be ripe, soft okay. and ripen. We just cut those, put them on the grill, a little olive oil and uh, salt and pepper, and then we mix that in with some room softened goat cheese, put some corn on there, cilantro, some onions, whatever you're feeling. It's just one of those things in the summer, you know, that's just, I like eating smaller portions, lighter, I know it doesn't look like it, but that's, that's how I like eating. <laughs> you know, and then when we served this lamb, we, we made a smoked tomatoes. Uh, okay, so roja. let's talk a little bit about what's in that. All right, so we took some Roma tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, um, put them on the top rack of the grill, indirect heat. Ooh, that's good. And, you know, it's got some vinegar in it, it's got some cilantro, some garlic, some grilled onions, and jalapeno. You know, just enough jalapeno just to give it a little, you mm -hmm. know, character. It's not going to burn your mouth. I'll tell you what, I could just sit and eat that with chips. Good on chips, good on fish. Um, it's just one of those things. Now, the tomatoes, I will say, they're going to take just a little bit of time. Okay. You know, you put them on the top rack, you I'm let them go. just going to get a little of the heat. Not a lot, just it's a little coming. of the heat. It's starting to come. All right, I'm also a little scared to cut this because I know it's not ready yet, but okay. we're just going to take, we'll just take one of these chops off like this. And okay. Hopefully we're at about a medium rare. Okay. And normally you're, you're using a thermometer. Oh, we're close. We're right on Good. the way. Nice. If I can get through this section here. It smells so good out here. Okay. And do you you go for like a, a medium cook typically Ooh. when you do it or what? I go for a medium rare, okay. which I think we've pretty much nailed that. Okay. So then what I would do is I take just a little bit of this salsa and just kind of smear it around. Mm -hmm. And then once you, you know, you take your chops or a couple chops or whatever, you cut them, you kind of dip them into the sauce. And then you would serve a little bit of avocado toast on the side. You know, or cream corn or anything, you know, that's summertime. All right, Caitlin, go really you have that. avocado toast every morning. I know you already had some because you had no idea what you were doing that. Do you want to dive yeah, into I'll that? Yeah, I'll eat that. I'm going to get I, I made it. Just, you I made it just for you. Derek, you dive into that plate. I'm going to just dive into this. <laughs> all of that. Yeah, we're we're going to let the rest mm -hmm. of that rest. It's a little hot, T. I wouldn't have. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it just came off the grill. <laughs>